Hello everybody, it's uh, SimaKey420 back in with another quick MSI Win and Vista video here, I guess. I'm um, going to quick show you what the Origami 2.0 experience uh, looks like on the MSI Win with the added touch screen. Uh, actually, looks pretty cool. Adds a nice, some nice feature sets, including a picture pass from Android, which we'll see right here. So this lets me log into my computer using a password and a series of places to touch on the screen. Kinda nice. This seems to run pretty well on the wind. Um, I actually prefer it over XP these days. I figure, you know, if you're gonna run something, might as well make it look good. And uh, using the rain meter theme in the background again from the life hack article. And of course my personal photograph I always like to use for wallpapers at my parents farm and uh, here we go we'll take a look at origami central here previously I've shown the first origami experience which is pretty cool nonetheless um, so we'll take a look at some pictures and uh, quick take a look at the basically what it does it imports everything from Windows Media Player into its own library here if you use a tagging feature in the photo manager you can uh, actually use it get in here. Notice how the navigation's like uh, kind of like the iPhone is. Hold and slide. Which kind of is a nice thing about a glossy touch screen is that it's very smooth. But you have to have dry hands or else it gets ugly. So an example of the screensaver I guess slideshow you can have. There's quite a few different types that it has. Uh, I like this one the best. Um, this is kind of like the PS3 uh, photo one where it just tosses Polaroids at the screen. Pretty cool. Um, another, I think this is like a zoom in something like, well, you saw it. Whatever that is. I think it's like about Probably about five or six different types you can do. The classic. So. So that's just one of that. Oops. My bad. Okay, let's go back to... Look at the internet browser it has. Because it, it's kind of cool. It's a more... Cr oriented for the touch interface here. Kind of has like the iPhone type of, uh, you know, or the touch screen, touch flow, I guess, from HTC and whatnot here. Let's, uh, let's see, we'll try out Slick Deals, one of my favorite sites. Notice how there's a hand now. If you hit again, it'll bring up the menu bar up top here. And, uh, chill. let's see here if the page is loaded yet. Yeah, there we go. So you can kind of do one of those actions. Kind of cool. Not as smooth as on the iPhone, of course, but to be expected, running in a full OS like this. I don't know. Um, you can also do snapshots, which is kind of kind of neat. Basically, it does just takes a picture of the whole page that you are on, and then uh, if you want, you can always look at it offline then, which is kind of handy for news articles and stuff. I could see, kind of make it into like a Kindle's type. So let's see, we have snapshots, slick deals here. Just did. I don't know if the links, have, links of course don't work or anything, but it's a pure, you know, news view. So like, you know, if you want to go, let's say CN, there we go. Notice how it has suggestive. Uh, I didn't really let load any of that, but 
So I guess, you know, it'd be nice for travelers. You can just take a, you know, screenshot of like right now. It's like, oh, crap, let's see. I need to get a news article before I go fly here. Slow load time though for the browser, I'm really disappointed in that. It must be quite a bit of overhead. So, I'll just do a snapshot of it quick. So here we are. Kind of cool, let me just go back, you know, do our snapshots again. Of course, it doesn't go link deep or anything, so you don't have that page, but. Nonetheless, it's kind of cool to have. Not a bad feature for a, a mobile. So, there you are. Just a quick origami experience. Uh, oh, one more thing. Let's just for fun show you how that's... I love this program. It's called Stellarium. It's a free... Uh, um, I don't know what you call it. Constellation star gazing utility. And it actually works really well with the, the touch screen all. So it lets you kind of pan and all. Just touch it to bring up the menus by doing that even nicely. Yeah, very nice interface to it though. I'm actually very satisfied with the touch screen add-on. It's a pretty useful add-on. Kind of cool. More for the cool factor than anything. But so far though I'd still say Vista works the best for the touch screen. So with that said, hope I didn't bore you too bad. I right, peace.